Hi everyone and welcome to your collective tarot love message. This is going to be a reading that is not intended for any sign specifically. Um, but if you've clicked on this reading, then there's obviously something here that's led you here. You've been guided to uh, perhaps hear the messages. Or perhaps this is something that you might need reminding of. So once again, not at a reading that's intended for any sign specifically. It is going to be a collective message. But obviously if you've clicked on this reading, there's something here that's pulled you here. Um, on that note, it is going to be a general reading, so please be mindful of that. If you're after a personal reading with me, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is also going to be listed below the video. Um, also, there is going to be a part two and extension to this reading. Um, and the extension reading is going to be made available via the extension link, which will be included below, just, where this, uh, just below the video where the show more section is. Um, okay, guys, let's go ahead and let's... Um, Let's turn to the cards. In today's reading, we are not going to pose any question, okay? We are just going to shuffle the cards and see what messages the cards have for you at this specific point in time. So what messages do you need to, um, do you need to be guided through? So far there is a lot of um, fire energy and fire is a very primal type of energy and from what I'm sensing there's something here that's being ignited okay there's something that's being ignited um, in the energies here. So what do I mean by that? I feel like for well, some of you, there's, there's an awakening of some sort, okay? There is something, it just feels like there's something within your energy that's being awakened. Maybe something that's been uh, laying dormant inside of you for quite some time. Something that's been in slumberland is now, is now being awakening, okay? It could be that your soul is awakening. It could be that you might be meeting someone or connecting with someone who's going to awaken something inside of you perhaps you're going to connect with someone else and the both of you are going to awaken each other it could be you, you might be awakening a passion inside of you um awakening a talent um a gift that you've been gifted uh, there's something here that i feel like is finally coming to is finally coming to life and i feel like either this person may have Either you were always destined to connect with this person or you were always destined to connect with whatever this is. So it could be a talent, it could be a dream job, it could be an opportunity. But whatever this is, it's got this energy, like this charge of electricity behind it. It's something that's going to jolt you wide awake. It's something that's going to really awaken your senses and really awaken your energy. Okay, there's a lot of, um, I feel like there's a lot of newness. That's how best to describe this. There's a lot of newness in the energies here. The Six of Swords is an indication of moving on. This is an energy of uh, traveling. Okay, so for a lot of you, there is this um, movement that's being predicted in the cards. Now, for some of you, you could be moving um, very soon or you might be in the process of moving. This could be, um, you could be moving houses. You could be traveling. You could be going to, um, you could be relocating to a new home or residential address you could be moving houses you could be moving um into a new role okay at work you could be starting with a new company you could also be moving for some of you this is like you're moving across a body of water okay um doesn't necessarily mean you're going to do it by boat uh but it's like i see you like you're flying across a body of water and it's for, it's at a distance to where you are right now so there's a long 
geographically there's a bit of a distance to go to where it is that you want to uh, that you need to end up here um, so some of you I feel like you're flying um, I feel like you've got travel plans to go overseas uh, could be you know Europe Asia um, America it's just I feel like there's a lot of movement here for you okay there's a bit of a there's a bit of a journey here okay it, it's a physical journey as much as it is a spiritual one an emotional one so there's something here that I feel like you're moving and with this movement energy wherever it is that you're going to it's getting you even though it's at a distance ironically it's getting you closer to where you need to go so for instance you know, if you're being pulled to go to a certain country, to visit a certain country, to stay there, to live there, um, or even just to pass by, right? If you're being pulled to a certain country or a certain destination, even like a, another city or another state, or if you're being pulled, or if your energy is being pulled on to work at a certain, um, with a certain company or a certain job, this is an energy that is calling you, that, that's pulling on you, okay? And there's something there for you. There is a part of your destiny that awaits you there so it just could be a dream job that you might land it could be that you know there's a soulmate that is waiting for you on the other side of the world but whatever is pulling and calling on your energy okay this is something that is for you and for a lot of you you know if this doesn't resonate with you if you're not being pulled on something then perhaps um you know you're just not there yet but for a lot of you i feel like you know what i'm talking about when i say that something is calling you okay this is something that's pulling on your energy it's calling you it's not a pushing kind of energy um it's not it's not something that you have to be pushed to you know pushed to do or you know pushed to pursue it's something that's pulling on you and a push and a pull are two very different energies so there's something here that i feel like it's a new start that awaits you and this new start honestly feels like it's in a new space there is a lot of travel that i see in the cards that are uh, that are being predicted for you here there's a lot of um i feel like a new space um new beginnings okay new connections new chapters um new networking opportunities as well for a lot of you um but i feel like yeah you, you're moving it's a fresh start. Notice how this uh, sailor here, he's leaving the troubled waters, okay? And he's moving into calm, um, serene seas. So it's like you're, le you're leaving something turbulent behind. Some, for some of you, you're leaving behind turbulent situations. Um, and you're moving away from them. But to move away from these situations, you have, you have to physically get up and go. That's the message that I have for you. You are moving from... from uh, it, what it feels like you're moving from something that's been turbulent to you're moving to something that's going to be stable okay so you're finally moving on and I think it's going to give you peace of mind or whatever it is that you're pursuing here or wherever it is that you're going is going to give you peace of mind it's going to give you um, stability security okay the ten of pentacles I'm seeing that for a lot of you you're planting seeds for the future here you're planting seeds for your future okay there are opportunities that i feel like are going to come to you in abundance and the reason these opportunities are going to come to you now because you've made the necessary action okay you've taken that necessary step that necessary action to get closer to those opportunities so don't be surprised if you know suddenly opportunities um, and you know connections all of a sudden start presenting themselves to you okay it's not a coincidence it's because you've made that effort you've made that conscious effort to get closer to these opportunities to put yourself in that path of those opportunities you know what i mean and for a lot of you this is what it seems to me like there's an abundance here for you this could be look this could be material wealth that we're seeing for you the ten of pentacles okay um it could be that you could you know your financial situation is going to improve i'm talking about leaps and bounds here okay not just improve a little but leaps and bounds for others of you this is your planting seeds um for your future okay you're planting those seeds that are going to sprout blossom thrive and grow like never before okay um, and this is coming in abundance as well you could also be connecting with people okay lots of people that potentially um, those connections are going to really pay off handsomely um, there's also like you could be connecting with new romantic energies with networking connections opportunities could be coming your way you could meet someone who then could put you onto someone else um, who has you know connections or who somehow will put you onto something else 
it just feels like you're showing up at the right place at the right time and the ten of pentacles does feel like to me you're building you're also building some sort of legacy for some of you okay you're building some sort of legacy which i think is going to there's somehow your name is tied into this legacy and i feel like this is something you potentially might pass on later on in life there's something here that you're building that that's what it feels like um for some of you i'm also seeing that whatever it is that you're building here okay you need to kind of put in the money to make this money i i, I don't know exactly what that means but i feel like it's like you gotta you know put in the work to make it work and for some of you you have to put in the money to actually uh get your investments back um Page of Wands, I feel like there's someone here that's going to show up in your life very unexpectedly and very soon. It does feel like it's a new energy. I don't think this is anyone from your past because the whole point of this reading is you leaving the past behind. And in leaving the past behind and moving on from some, you know, something, you're also moving on from people here, okay? Because you're, uh, the Six of Swords is like moving on from the past which you might have been stuck in. So if you've been stuck in a rut, if everything has been a little bit stagnated and felt a little bit mundane lately um if your relationships felt a little bit stale and like you know they weren't growing or going anywhere i feel like you're finally you know getting up and you're saying you know you've had enough and it's been the six of swords there's such a multitude there it's been so long that you've been feeling this way that i feel like you're finally ready to make a move you're finally ready to move on and look i'm not gonna lie there is this energy of you feeling a little bit overwhelmed or even scared uncertain but there's also, you know, the ones brings this energy of excitement. You're also very excited for what lies ahead because what lies ahead is uncertain. You don't know and anything can happen. Like literally anything can happen. Um, and that's the kind of energy you need to lean in more. But Page of Wands represents a very youthful, playful, a very charming, adventurous type of energy. Someone who I feel like you're going to connect to almost instantly. There's um, a very strong attraction between you and this person. It could be a physical attraction, okay? This is someone you might find extremely attractive physically, and this person may be very physically attracted to you. But it also could be like um, uh, an energy where... This person's energy just plays so well with yours. You guys are just responding to each other's energy. You know, you're just sort of recognizing each other's energy. Um, you're both maybe awakened. Remember how at the start of the reading we spoke about you potentially meeting with someone? This person could awaken something inside of you or you could awaken, you know, something inside of them or the both of you could do that to each other. Or like your energy sparks something inside of them or their energy sparks something inside of you but you're both responding to each other's energy which is always a great thing i feel like you're meeting this person for those of you that are traveling or have plans to travel i feel like you're going to meet this person at a distant foreign land okay so if you have plans to travel i don't know europe or um you know wherever the world is a beautiful place um i feel like you're meeting this person yeah wherever it is that you have plans to travel so it feels like you're meeting them on distant shores right or i feel like the cards could also be telling us that this is someone from overseas this is someone who was born overseas who lived maybe overseas someone who is very like foreign um like has a very strong foreign accent or very different accent to yours can speak a few languages um it's just very exotic looking okay some of you are, i'm seeing that either you're traveling during the summer summer springtime okay during the warmer months of the year um or otherwise i feel like this is someone who this person comes from um it's like the middle east africa like uh, like really hot regions okay really um parts of the world where it gets really hot just very humid just dry desert heat um australia's up there too um yes yeah, so, somewhere from where like it's really hot very hot very desert like kind of um yeah i feel like there's more than one person though i feel like there's more because you know i'm getting the page of ones and i'm and i'm getting the three of ones and i feel like there's more than one person that you're going to connect with one of them is going to be a younger energy this person is going to be younger than yourself could be by a lot could be just by a few years but mark my words this person is going to be younger this person is also going to have that playful kind of energy that's that person that you're going to be really attracted to then there's someone else that's coming in for you the three of ones we don't really see his face so we're a little unsure of what this person looks like okay um 
it's a little bit hazy a little bit foggy but what we do know there is going to be this uh, pull okay more of this pull energy their energy is going to pull on yours this is someone who i feel like is going to um, also spark something with you know their energy is going to spark something within yours but a curiosity i feel like with this person there's a sense of passion a curiosity an adventure and i think with this person that i'm seeing there's more of um there's more of a calmness there's more of a mature energy with this person Okay, so this is someone, and I feel like this could be someone around your age or even someone a little bit older. But this person is, you know, this is someone who's an adventurer, whereas this is more of a traveler. That's how I see these two people. But you're meeting, um, and look, you're going to be more than two people, especially if you're getting out there, you know, traveling the world or going to new places, starting um, new positions. You're going to be connecting with more than two people, but these two in particular are really going to take, you're really going to take to them. Their energy is really going to play well with yours. This is someone who I feel like you're really going to, they're going to stand out for you, okay? And you'll have to choose between these two individuals. It's not going to be an easy choice, but I, because I feel like you're going to connect well with both, but I feel like at the end of the day, you'll make the choice that is right for you, okay, whatever that is. Um, I feel like there's something new for you here with the Ace of Swords in terms of the way that you, I feel like there's going to be a shift within you, okay, and I feel like this has a lot to do with stepping, pushing yourself outside of the comfort zone within the next few months, uh, within the year. I feel like you're really going to new places uh, physically, emotionally mentally and i feel like that's going to spark a shift inside of you because i see this there's a shift in your attitude okay there's something here that's changing in your mental perception you're starting to see things differently um you're starting to um you're starting to shift perspectives i think you're starting to see things maybe from different angles um being a little bit more open i just see a big shift in your attitude in your beliefs um, yeah, I see that shifting for you in a very, very big way. Okay, so, you know, not only is there a shift for you external, because that's all nice, but there's also such a massive, ginormous shift for you internally. You're changing, you're changing your beliefs, you're changing the way that you see the world, and the way that you see you, you're also changing that. You know, how you see yourself is so very important. And you're seeing yourself in a new light, in a better light. And I think this has a lot to do with, you know, three of wands energy is pushing yourself outside of the comfort zone. Okay, you've got, I feel like there's so much that lies ahead of for you. There's like this adventure that waits for you. But you have to take the first step because the adventure is not going to grow legs. It's not going to come knocking on your door. Okay, you have to take that first steps. And for a lot of you, you're ready to take the first steps. For some of you listening, you know, if you're too daunted by this and if you're not ready to take the first steps, whatever your adventure is to you, right, um, then it's okay. You know, maybe this reading is just not for you, maybe not for you right now. But for those of you who know what I'm talking about, who really resonate with this, you just have to take that first step, okay? Whether that first step means leaving your turbulent situation behind, whether it means packing up and, you know, literally putting yourself out into a whole new space okay moving traveling getting out there starting a new opportunity whatever it is you know what it is okay you're the expert on your own you know life and relationship you know what it is but it's all still it all starts outside of your comfort zone that's where the growth is right um and then you've got the night of wands i feel like things are going to be happening very quickly for you but there's a catch okay once you make up your mind once you make up your mind about what it is that you want to do, about what it is that, you know, where it is that you want to go, what it is that you want to be, you know, I feel like once you start making up your mind about things, about people, or even like about yourself, things are going to start happening quickly for you, because for some of you, you might be like, there's this um, kind of leaf in the wind kind of energy, maybe some of you feel a little bit not aimless or directionless, but you're kind of just trying to stay open, and you're not really sure what you want to do, okay, um, you're just sort of staying open um, and seeing, you know, what, what comes to you, which is a really great energy to be because you're okay if something happens, you're okay if it doesn't. I feel like it's a really good place to be. But I think for some of you, I see that over the next few months, and I think it's going to take a little bit, it could even take a little bit longer, but over the next few months, I feel like some of you are finally going to start, I, it's like I'm seeing direction, because the Knight of Wands is someone who's making a beeline for someone or something, right? And I think this is you, you're 
finally making up your mind about something and then when you do you know you're making a beeline for whatever this is or I feel like you're also attracting people who are just sort of making a beeline for you you're going to be attracting people and opportunities who want what you want because at the end of the day don't forget that what you're seeking is also seeking you okay so you're putting out this energy where you know you're inviting a certain person or you're inviting a certain opportunity into your life and that person or that opportunity is you know their antennas are up um, and they're picking up on your energy and they're responding to it. Look, I feel like you're going to have to, I, I see that there is some sort of big decision or some big choice that you're going to have to make with the Two of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like this is, um, you, you know, you're going to be having a lot of fun. I see a lot of fun, okay? It's a very frivolous kind of energy, but he's juggling the Two of Pentacles, but he doesn't seem exhausted or fatigued by this. Um, to me, it looks like he's having, you know, um, a lot of fun. So I feel like there's a lot of fun that's coming into your life. I feel like there's a lot of um, uncertainty, which is part of the fun and the excitement. I feel like there's a lot of new con um, new connections that you'll be making, new people you'll be meeting, new opportunities that are going to be coming your way. And this is something that you're attracting, so kudos to you. But I see that whatever, there's a lot happening for you guys. I guess the message here would be just to, you know, don't get exhausted in the process. You know, don't try to take on too much. Because it's not just about, you know, the destination. It's the, it's about the journey getting there, okay? The journey is equally as important as the destination. So don't just be too much in a hurry to get there, wherever there is for you. It's all about enjoying yourself along the way. And there is so much fun for you to be had. Like, But you need to make sure you stay present. You need to make sure you're in the moment. There's a lot that's happening for you here, but I see you having a lot of fun with it all. And if you do, you know, if there is that shift in mental perception that we're speaking about here, if you do decide to have fun with it all, you'll have the you'll have a blast. You'll have, um, you know, the most fun you've ever had in your life. Um, there's a lot, yeah. There's a lot. I feel like there's a lot that waits for you, and there's a lot that you're waiting for as well. Okay, I think whatever it is that you're seeking. For some of you, you don't know it yet, but you're seeking something and that something is seeking you. And, you know, it's going to come into focus. It's, you're going to get clarity more on this as you go deeper into your journey here. But Two of Pentacles is definitely this energy of, you know, having fun with everything. I also see that there's going to be some very important choices that you're going to be make. One of which is going to be, you're going to have to make. One of which is going to be between these two people, between these very um, beautiful, charming, romantic suitors. But... I feel like only one of them is really right for you. I'm not saying the other one is wrong, but I feel like one just fits more, okay? One just makes more sense. And you'll know when you're in that moment, in that situation, you'll know the right decision to make because it'll be the decision that your heart, you know, sets on. Um, but I also feel like there's something here. Something is coming. I feel like things are coming in twos for you. So I'm um, like, in the next two days, something might happen. In the next two months, you might meet someone. You might get an opportunity. You might get two opportunities. You might have two jobs that's, um, you know, that you might land. You might go to two different travel destinations, even though you've just planned for one somehow. You know, you're going to, um, I don't know, there might be a stopover and you're going to make a fun trip out of that too. I don't know. It just feels like things are happening in twos here for you. Okay, so two. Two days, two months, two weeks, two hours... Um, two people, I don't know, two opportunities, two jobs, two companies, you know, I think you, you, you get where I'm going with this, things are happening in twos for you here, so it's good because what that gives you is that gives you choice, and having choices is always good, right, being in a position to decide, um, to make a choice, you know, that's a pretty good position to be in, so for a lot of you, that's where I see you, you know, the world is sort of the universe, the world is presenting you with options, with choices, and the beauty is you get to pick. So for a lot of you, I do see that there's a lot of choices or there's a lot of options that are being presented uh, to you here. And you're definitely, you know, you're picking and choosing the right ones. Um, I see this Queen of Swords energy entering your life. This, even, it may be a lady, okay, or it might be, um, it might be a female or a male, but a very... Um, I, I see it having a very, like, it's, it's a masculine energy for me with the Queen of Swords, okay? Um, this person is going to be a mentor. This is someone who I feel like is going to be a mentor. Now, for some of you, this could be, 
I don't know, some of you might be starting some sort of mentorship, if that's what I might see, and you'll align with this figure, this Queen of Swords figure. For others of you, there is someone here who is around your energy, okay? Someone who could be a parent, guardian, it could be a friend, it could be someone you work with, it could be someone that you're yet to meet. But I see this person being very wise, um, very mature, full of wisdom, okay? This person is going to offer you her pearls of wisdom, a lot of advice um, that you're going to really end up valuing. And this person is going to be very, you know, the Queen of Swords is a little bit blunt. She is seen as a little bit cold and icy, but that's only because she speaks the truth. And a lot of people, you know, they don't handle the truth very well, but, you know, she doesn't like to sugarcoat anything. She um, values truth above all things. So this is someone who I feel like is very truthful very honest, very transparent, and because of that, they do come across as a little bit cold, icy, or a little bit blunt, but they're not, okay? This person has your best interests at heart, and this is the Queen of Swords energy. This is someone who could be a male, could be a female. Um, you know, if it's a female, she has more of a masculine energy, okay? Um, this person is someone who speaks the truth, who doesn't hold back. Um, someone who... You know, tells it like it is. Someone who's very direct, very forward. Um, don't let this person, not that this person is going to intimidate you, but don't be intimidated by this person's honesty because they value, um, you know, what's best for you. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.